Hey there, church family. Happy Tuesday evening. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me for a brief word of devotional. But before that, I want to take a moment and remind you guys that this week, our youth group goes back to meeting on Wednesday nights. Brother Tim wanted me to give one more reminder to everyone out there. So make sure that your youth group students are able to be here on Wednesday night. They're moving back from Thursdays to Wednesday nights. And so they'll be here in the church tomorrow night. But anyways, hope you guys are having a great week so far. If you're still wondering, for Miss Jordan and I, baby Georgia has not come yet. We're just still waiting on her. She'll come in her sweet, precious time. We're just praying for a healthy baby and that God's will will be done. So just whenever that time comes, it comes. If not, uh, maybe this weekend, whatever the case may be, we're just going to wait and see what God's plan is. But tonight I want to share with you a brief word of devotional from maybe some of your favorite passages of Scripture from the book of Psalms. In Psalm 139, it says this in verse 23, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. In Psalm 139, definitely David is pouring out his heart before God. I don't know, you know, all the details of everything that's been going on in his life at that point, the opposition that he's facing, you know, the accusations that have come against him. But he's just in an honest moment praying before God and saying, God, you know my heart. And so he's not giving God permission to search his heart. God sees his heart already. But he's just so open before God. He's saying, you know, God, you search me and let me know if there's anything in my life that's not pleasing to you. He knows that he's a sinner. He knows that he's done things wrong. But whatever it is that he's dealing with right now, whatever's been brought and laid before him in that moment, he knows that people are accusing him falsely, etc. And, you know, he's being dealt harshly with. And he's saying, God, I don't deserve the things that I'm experiencing right now. So he's trusting in the Lord in a difficult situation when he's having problems undoubtedly with others. And so I think for us today, it's a reminder to us that, you know, we've got to remember that God does see our hearts. And so if we face a difficult situation and we're going through something that's really, really hard right now or in the future, we can know that, you know, if we're doing our part and we're trying to walk in the ways of the Lord, we can just trust Him. He does see our heart. And we can cry out to Him honestly and say, Lord, I, I just need some help right now. I'm dealing with these things. Lord, you know my heart. You know that I love the things you love and hate the things you hate. But his prayer is so honest because he says, try me and know my thoughts. And then in verse 24, he says, and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So he still leaves out there, Lord, if you find something. And so in this honest prayer, he's saying, God, I've searched my heart. I know where I stand. But if you in your perfect ways search my heart and you find something that's not pleasing to you, God, show it to me so I can repent of it, so I can be led in the way everlasting, so I can be led in the way of old, so I can be led in the way that you have wanted me to walk since the beginning. And so that needs to be our heart cry and our prayer when we come before God and we confess our sins and we say, Lord, you know all these things, but if there's anything else, Lord, show it to me. Change me. Make me into who you want me to be. What humility we see there. What confidence we see in the Lord. What intimacy we see that He can be so honest and bare and open with the Lord and trust the Lord to show Him what's right. That needs to be our attitude in prayer before the Lord. That needs to be the way that we come before Him when we want to be used of Him. That needs to be the way that we rely upon Him when we face uncertainties or difficulties or whatever may come our way. We are dealing with a lot in our lives now and in our world, and we need to step back sometimes and say, Lord, what is my role in this? What is my part in this? What is my guilt in this? What can I do differently? What can I do better? If you're a Christian and you're alive, then what you ought to be is a growing Christian. There's never a time in your life as a Christian that you should ever fall stagnant or stop growing closer to the Lord. Here's the thing. When you fall stagnant or you stop growing in the Lord, it's not because God has stopped wanting to do a work in your life. It's because you have something that has hindered that, that has interrupted that, that has stalled that. And so we need to go to the Lord and say, Lord, diagnose this. Tell me what's wrong. Our medical professionals would tell us that we need to have a regular health checkup ever so often, depending on our age and, and things that we've experienced in our medical history, et cetera, et cetera. Oftentimes you may go to the doctor and you feel totally fine. You're not really sure that anything's going on and they run just normal tests. 
And they just take samples and they come back and they say, hey, we need to investigate this further because even though you don't think there's anything wrong, we found something that's an indication of an abnormality or whatever the case may be. Oftentimes it's through those regular checkups that people find out that they have something they need to tackle head on and overcome. So we're grateful for the physicians that will take the time to really look and make sure that our bodies and our health are up to standards. See, here's the thing. We often neglect a spiritual checkup. We think, oh yeah, everything's good in my life. I'm in control, et cetera, et cetera. And while all along our spiritual health has been on a steady decline, our prayer needs to be like this prayer where we go to God and we say, God, you know, to the best of my ability, you can search me. I think it's all there and I'm doing my best, Lord. I'm not perfect, but I'm striving to walk with you. But we need to be open and honest and humble enough to say, and yet, Lord, even though I don't see anything, if there's anything, can you please convict and convince me of it that I might change it to be more fashioned to your way, the everlasting way. Listen, tonight, I hope this devotional has been an encouragement to you. Spend some time with the Lord, praying, studying the scriptures, asking Him to show you what He wants you to change in your life. God has more for you and more for me than we could ever imagine for ourselves, but it involves us being open and bare before Him and trusting Him. That's that closeness that we want with the Lord. So be encouraged tonight. Spend some time with the Lord. Go to His Word. See what it says and ask God just to show you really the true contents of your heart and then to move forward in His everlasting way. God bless you, God keep you, and I will talk to you guys again hopefully soon.